AI agents are about to change the way you live and work forever. But how do they actually get stuff done behind the scenes? Let's break down how AI agents work step by step, super simple so anyone can understand it, and then look at a real life business scenario. So how do they work? There are five main parts that make an agent come to life. It's alive, it's alive, it's alive. First, we have the brain, the LLM. The large language model is what puts the AI in an AI agent. It's responsible for all the thinking, planning, and reasoning that make the agent smart. Here's how a large language model or LLM works. We give it a prompt and it responds with an answer, but it can't perform any tasks or actions. It's just good at thinking and responding based on what it has been trained on. It's like a brain without a body. I'm Leonard Nimoy. Spock? Hey, hey, do the thing. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. In order to get it to do the thing, we need to add a helper, and that's the agent. And it's going to need tools to get the job done. So now, rather than speaking to the LLM directly, we've got the agent sitting in between us right there and on top of the tools. Now the agent has access to the LLM and the tools. The LLM is still responsible for the thinking. Think of it like the decision-making engine that allows the agent to analyze data, reason, and make decisions based on the information it has gathered. This is the part of the agent that processes information and determines the next action, while the tools will be used to carry those actions out. You can connect tons of different tools. They can link to other apps and software, or even pull information from data sources. Spiritual tools. Uh, no, sadly not yet, but for example, we can connect to accounting software like QuickBooks through an API, allowing it to access your accounting data. An API or application programming interface allows different software programs to talk to each other. We could also connect to a data source like a Google Sheet or Airtable to pull information stored in those sources. What about this dang environment? By connecting these tools and data sources, we expand the agent's environment, whatever it can access, whether it's QuickBooks through an API or a Google Sheet or a customer communications tool like Twilio. It all becomes part of the information it uses to perceive and make decisions. This is an example of a digital environment where the agent gathers information from apps, software, databases, and other online tools. On the other hand, a physical environment would involve the agent perceiving the real world through sensors, like cameras, microphones, or even temperature sensors. In this type of environment, the agent might see through a camera or hear through a microphone, allowing it to make decisions based on real world inputs. Both types of environments give the agent different kinds of data, enabling it to function in various ways depending on the situation. So far, we have the brain, an LLM or simply AI, the helper or an agent, and the tools like apps and data sources. Next, and this is what really makes AI agents helpful, it's memory. It can remember important details like past invoices or payments from the accounting tool we connected it to. The agent can use short-term memory to handle things happening right now, like new expenses, and long-term memory to track business trends over time. Are you still with me so far? If you're finding this video helpful, please hit that like button to let me know. Thank you. Thank you. Now, finally, we need a way to tell the agent what to do. It needs instructions, a set of instructions called a prompt template to guide the agent. This is how the agent knows what steps to take and what tools to use. Keep in mind, it's advanced prompts and instructions that unlock the real power of LLMs. If you can master this, your AI agents will have a major advantage over your competitors. We'll dive deep into prompt strategies in upcoming videos, so make sure you subscribe to our channel now. Now that we've put everything in place, you've got a basic understanding of how an AI agent system works and what key parts make it function.
Now let's step outside the matrix and see how an AI agent works in a real life business scenario. Never send a human to do a machine's job. Here is a prompt template or a set of instructions. You are a friendly agent that helps manage finances. If asked about financial information, use QuickBooks to gather data. If asked to send messages on behalf of the user, use Gmail or Twilio. Ask the user for additional information if you need it. Setting up these instructions, along with a list of available tools like QuickBooks, Gmail, and Twilio, is part of the agent's configuration process. This allows the agent to handle financial tasks and communication. The business owner's prompt or query might be, which invoices are overdue? At this point, the agent prepares an overall prompt using the instructions, the user's query, and any extra information it needs. This is then sent to the LLM. The LLM reasons that it should access QuickBooks to find invoices that are overdue. The agent then asks, would you like to check for invoices overdue by seven days or more, or 30 days or more? The business owner responds, show me all invoices overdue by 30 days or more. Now the agent may choose to store this information in its memory. For example, that the owner is focusing on invoices overdue by 30 days or more. The agent then connects to QuickBooks and retrieves the overdue invoices. It pulls the invoice details, amount dates, and due statuses, and sends this data to the LLM to formulate a clear response. The LLM then responds, ABC Co. has two overdue invoices totaling 1,950. 750 due 35 days ago and 1,200 overdue by 40 days. You can view the full details and links to the invoices here, invoice one and invoice two. Now at this point, the agent provides an additional helpful option. Would you like me to start sending reminders automatically to any accounts overdue by 30 days or more? Or would you prefer that I notify you each time one comes up so you can decide how you'd like to handle it? The business owner responds, just send me notifications when an invoice is overdue and I'll decide what to do. Thanks. The agent stores this preference, learning from the interaction. Going forward, whenever it detects an overdue invoice, it will notify you, the business owner, with links to the invoices, giving them control over how to handle each case. That's incredible. It's incredible. The agents are about to transform the business world as we know it. And the only way to stay ahead is by mastering them. Subscribe now to learn how to train, build, and sell these powerful tools. Because missing out means getting left behind.